I'm going to show you how to do the vertical acceleration on the frog hopper. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Oaks Park site, right? And then find the frog hopper and you want to grab um, one of these big movie files here. Frog hopper from the side, frog hopper from the front. That looks good. I wonder if it's any good. Okay, so I'm going to do control, save link as, and then this is just a folder that I made that I'm putting stuff in. Okay, and now we're going to go back to uh, Logger Pro and we want to stick that movie in. So we go insert movie and I uh, go to the desktop and I'm going to find that one there. Uh, frog hopper front from 09. That was a good year. Look at these poor kids. They don't even know it's going to hit them. Poor kids. Okay, now what we got to do is we got to set up the scale on this thing. So if you go back, there's a, a really good one for front shots. That distance there is 2.84 meters. We measured that with a tape measure. So we got to go in here and let's just hit play. I'm going to pick this side. Okay, whoops. I want to get it at the very top like that. These kids are like, oh, get my hands up. It actually is kind of a fun ride. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. This is set scale. And we're going to go from this side to this side. And it says, how far is that? Well, that's 2 point, what was it? I forgot. It's 2.84 meters, right? So that, that's what it says right there. See that 2.84? OK, so 2.84 meters. And now we're ready to go. Let's just play the video and see what uh, drops, drops. Ooh, that's a good bouncy little thing there. That's crazy. It's actually kind of a fun ride. We like to make fun of it, but there it is. Okay. Lots of visual contrast here. So I'm going to uh, back this guy up. That's craziness. The frog hoppery frog hop. Okay, I'm just going to go from right there. Okay, now we've set the scale and now we're ready to analyze. I can click on this. Now you can click on something like that guy's face or something like that. What you want to do is pick a high contrast thing. And I always pick, click on it with the side, like I, po I point at it with the side of this, right? So I think what I'll do is I'll point at this. I'll just use that bar. I'll line that up, the left side. Sometimes it doesn't change. You're going to do a much more careful job of this, right? talk about the other the software there so you keep clicking I'm making a little video here I'm showing them how to do the oh, frog nice. hopper I thought I'd bust out a whole bunch of videos I thought that might be cool right so you just keep clicking and notice I'm just I'm using the left side of the crossbar because if you click on it you get these big nasty dots on the thing and you can't see where you're clicking it's the same joke as like the bananas in the ears do you know that joke Mr. Duggan I do Guys walking down the street. Guys walking says, down the street. Why do you have bananas in your ears? Because there's a guy with bananas in yours. That's what you got to know. Can't hear you. That's what the guy says, right? I can't hear you. Sorry, I can't hear you because why? Because he has bananas in his ears. Because he's a talking muffin. No, because he's got bananas <laughs> in his ears. Right? Now, the secret word for this video that if you are watching this right now and you're trying to get this figured out, if you walk up to me or Mr. Murray, and you say the secret word is scoochie. Scoochie! Then we'll be quite impressed. I can't believe, this has got to be the most exciting video ever on YouTube, right? Okay, so I'm clicking on these. I don't know if you noticed. I'm just sort of tracking the thing up and down. It was for that grant for interactive physics. It's, it's good. Yeah. It's nice to see her. Anyway, there it is. We've tracked the thing up and down a whole bunch of times, right? If you look in the back, it's sort of intriguing. There's a graph, and, and the, the blue is, is the, the vertical, the red is the horizontal. We don't, I'm sorry, left to right. This is left to right. This is up and down. We only care about this part, right? Okay, so um, a lot of things you can do here. 
uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to ignore the, um, the x. So I'm going to only look at y. Okay. Um, you could get velocities here. Right? So remember, you can just grab little chunks of this. Right? If we want to know how fast the thing moves down, you can go analyze linear fit. Right? It moves down, <laughs> this is shocking, at 1.1 meters per second. And that's why it's so terrifying. Right? Okay? Uh, you can grab, uh, that's moving up, sorry. Okay, here's a downward velocity, right? So parts of this that are linear, right? Linear fit is your ticket, right? You can do that there. Oh, it moves down at 1.9. I mean, it's a, it's a terrifying ride, okay? Um, if you want to get uh, acceleration with this thing, there's the simplest way is to go and turn this into a y velocity graph. And then, of course, you can see the, um, the velocity. I mean, it's kind of a neat thing, right? Uh, let's see if I can get another graph here. Insert a graph. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. It's kind of fun. We can actually put another graph up above here. And this is like one of those teachable moments that you probably don't give a crap about. But, okay. But uh, I can take this and make a little graph like that. And then uh, let's make that the same. There we go. Right, and then I can change this to a Y graph, right? And then that's kind of fun, right? Here is. Here's where the velocity is zero, and of course it's zero there. Here the velocity is zero there, and you can see it's crossing zero. Um, uh, we got a fire alarm there. Here you can see the velocity is zero there, and it's zero there. And uh, wow, that's so sad. I guess we got to go outside, huh? All right. I'll continue this video in the next part.